improvising on Smoke on the Water today. Now, there are many ways to get this done. This is just one way to go about taking your very own solo on the song Smoke on the Water. So we're kind of going to approach this from a G minor standpoint as far as the song goes. We're in the key of G minor. And we're going to be using G minor pentatonic, G minor blues, and then mixing in some diatonic notes from our G minor scale in there. Now, I do know in the recording he does have a couple of passing notes. That one in particular he does hit, which is a pretty cool thing to check out, but for today we're going to be sticking with those three main scales in one position. Uh, if you know the scales in different spots on the guitar, I'd encourage you to work on improvising with the scales anywhere that you know, but just for today we'll focus on one spot. So let's check out our chords that we're going to be soloing over. The solo section of this tune plays G for two measures to C, back to G. It does that four times, it repeats that four times. Then we go to C for two and then F for two. So we're going to be playing these scales first and then I'm going to give you guys some chords to practice taking your own solos over. Um, this should be a lot of fun. So uh, let's start out with our G minor pentatonic scale. For those of you that have been following along on lessons, you probably already know your G minor pentatonic and your G minor blues scale, but the G minor scale might be new, so we're going to take more time on that scale. Uh, for those of you new to these lessons, I'd encourage you to go back through and watch our pentatonic scale lessons as well as the minor blues scale lessons as well oh, to really get those in depth. So starting out with our G minor pentatonic though, we're going to be on the third fret, and I will call out fret numbers as we play along. So starting on 3rd fret with your 1st finger, that's the note G, that's our root. We have 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 6. Let's do that descending. So we have 6, 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3. Six, three. Very nice. That's our minor pentatonic scale. Let's do the G minor blue scale. We're going to be adding our blue note to our minor pentatonic right now. So we have three, six, three, four, five, three, five, three, five, six, three, six, three, six. Let's do that one descending. Six, three, six, Three, six, five, three, five, three, five, four, three, six, three. Okay, G minor is up next. I'm going to take more time with this scale because it's probably a bit newer for more of us on the on these lessons. Still calling out the fret numbers, right? And keep in mind, you know, when you're approaching improvising on this song, you can kind of stick more with the minor pentatonic and the minor blues and then just kind of throw in some of the scale, some of the notes from this minor scale along with that. Okay, so not necessarily thinking of sticking with one of these scales the whole time, but more just combining them together. And you can listen to the record for some inspiration on that too. Get some really good ideas from the recording. So here we are, G minor, starting on the third fret still, because that's G. So we have three, five, six, three, five, six, three, five. Now for the next string, we're going to shift back to the second fret, third, fifth. Now we're going to shift back to the third fret for the B string. So we have three, four, six. Then on the high E, we have three, five, six. Okay, let's play that again from the very beginning. So three, five, six. Three, three, five, six. Three, five. Shift to two. Two, three, Shift to three, three, four, six, and then three, five, six. Let's put that descending. Here we go. 
So six, five, three, six, four, three, shifting. Your pinky is going to hit the fifth fret here. You have five, three, two. Now here you can either play this next note with your pinky or your third finger. Either one works, so I'm going to use my third finger. You can go five, three, then you're going to have your pinky on the sixth fret. Six, five, three, six, five, three. Okay, let's play that scale without fret numbers. A little bit on the, you know, we'll, we'll slow it down some. Okay, so here we go. Descending. Have a shift here. Very nice. Now, that might be a new scale for a couple of us, right? Totally fine if it is. Um, and for today, if you're more comfortable just sticking with your minor pentatonic or minor blues when we're practicing improvising, that's fine too, right? Um, I might do a separate lesson on that G minor pent or G minor scale just for fun coming up here. So now is the time we're going to be using these scales to take our very own solos on Smoke on the Water. So I'll be playing our chord progression, and you just go ahead and have a fun time improvising your very own solo. Here we go. That was one time through our solo chords, which is about all this song does. Um, not to say, you know, when you're playing with your own band, you might decide to go two times through that solo section or extend the first line as many times as you'd like before going on to C to F. That's a pretty common thing to do. Um, and then also, you know, depending on who you're playing this with, they might have you solo over the verse chords or the chorus chords, right? Um, either way, those scales should, should get the job done. Let's do that again. Here we go. because, you know, it's fun, so why not? We're going to play the riff starting out, though, into the solo section. Then we'll play our solo chords, and we'll finish up with the riff as well.
you go. Nice work. Nice work. So improvising on Smoke on the Water, and maybe some of you even learned a new scale today with that G minor scale. Um, that's what we got for today, improvising on Smoke on the Water. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.